Want to play the full game? Supposedly, it's it's not a live service, even though it looks like it. It's actually like a game that you play through and finish, which is weird. Where are we going? Ooh, lightning. I guess we're going... Uh, Let's let's go lightning again. Light, light, lightning is fun. Oh, come on. There we go. But welcome, Bellinair and Raiders. If you guys don't know Bellinair, Bellinair is a member of my stream team. He's an entertaining Finnish dude. He rolls his R's a lot. And you should watch his streams. People will grind it for rare equipment. Oh, God. <laughs> Not another Borderlands. We don't need more of those. But fair enough. It just makes me kind of sad that that game exists because to me, that game is like... Not everything that I hate, but a lot of things that I dislike about modern game design and development made by a studio that used to be like top 10 favorite studios for me of all time. Like they were up there with some of my, with most of my, like People Can Fly as all, for years was one of my favorite studios. And now it's just like, oh, they're making those games now. C cool. And that just kind of sucks. Just gonna grab chain lightning. I'm gonna need to use mana eventually, but just kind of working my way over to this spawner up here with these guys behind me. Two, one, all right. Mana potion. Need that mana potion from over there, but that's all good. Really? This is an awkward second floor. And also a massive waste of resources. Oh well. Not my best second floor, but I'll take it. Daylight shiftings? I don't understand what you're saying about daylight shiftings. What? Yeah, you, you made me think that I typoed my title, but I didn't. Pinball ways, what? Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, Pimble. Kind of didn't like Thunderstrike. So let's go with Fireball. Mana potion is very helpful, so we're going to go that route. Okay, so you're being a smartass. What's your point, Pinball? I'm not doing anything. I'm protesting the fact that other people do this. I'm simply a casualty of lost sleep. Nice. 
Let's do another chain lightning. Nice. This is a pretty easy floor. Which I'm finishing entirely with the... Uh, Chain lightning, more or less. Eh. Can I hit that from here? No, oh, come on. Okay, so you're mansplaining daylight savings. We we know what daylight savings is. <laughs> all right? We're all, like, educated human beings here, I think. What's your point? I don't think we all need the basic explanation of fucking daylight savings. We know what daylight savings is. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, we're already over here in North America, we're already in summertime. Because <laughs> you guys are two weeks after us. I mean, it should be abolished and destroyed, it shouldn't be called anything. Pitball. We just shouldn't do it. Anyway, I don't find you funny. How are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> Hope you've been well. Hope you're staying healthy. It doesn't fucking matter what it's called. It just shouldn't exist. I don't need to say that to the Scandinavians because they're smarter than everybody in my fucking continent. <laughs> they also believe that socialism is cool, which I wish that the rest of the people in my country would agree with. So, I don't need to tell that to anybody. They agree with me. We're on the same level. We understand each other. Anyway, I'd really rather not talk about why I lost five hours of sleep last night. <laughs> That's not benefiting anybody. It's just aggravating. Guess I'm going to do damage to myself then. But yeah, no, the one thing I will never understand is when someone dislikes something and then someone says, tell it to the people who don't do that thing. It's like, why would I tell them? They understand. It's like people in Scandinavia know that it's stupid and don't do it because it's stupid. So generally, as a person in the part of the world that still does the stupid thing, I agree. <laughs> I don't need to tell anybody anything. It's a fucking moronic practice that we shouldn't be fucking doing. We are anyway, for some reason. Do I even have any arcane? No, this is all sorcery. That's a lot of portal keys, though. That's just a healing potion. Go on this route. That's so many spotters, though. I think that um, the dashboard is broken for raids because I have this notification sitting there right now that says, Bellinair raided you for zero viewers. It's like, I don't think that's right. Like at all. Also, apologies if I seem snappy today. Because of my lack of sleep, I am a little bit crunchy this afternoon.
don't mean anything personal. I mean, I once described myself as a bag of chips, which is very accurate. Kind of crunchy, a little bit raunchy sometimes. Not for everybody. Hmm. Healing potion. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I really, 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 really want to just use a mana potion, but... This is an infinitely better use of my spells. Ow. I don't like that these guys resist me arcane damage, eh? I'm really not a fan. Salty. Well... Salt isn't necessarily a good way to describe me. More like snappy or spicy. Because I don't really get salty at games. It's actually very rare that I get salty. Usually it's chat that gets salty for me and accuses me of being salty, and I find that annoying. <laughs> Chat's like, you're salty. It's like, well, eh, not really. I would not consider the emotions that I feel when I lose in video games as salty. Annoyed? for sure, but salt is kind of a different thing. Salt is like being a sore loser, which I rarely feel when I lose in a video game. However, when I lose in a video game and then someone in chat is like, why, did you, why didn't you do this? And then I'm just like, please die and fall off a bridge. <laughs> that is definitely something that I'll feel. This is where you come for your popcorn. Fair enough. Hey, man, you know, I'll, I'll salt your popcorn for you. Spoink. One thing I will say about this game is it, is it does get a little bit tedious sometimes when there's a lot of enemies in one spot. It can get kind of blech when you're just trying to kill, like, a thousand things. I'm just going to hit myself. Mana pot. I need another mana pot. Can't wait to get out of this level. Um, I like Judgment Bolt. Deals both Holy and Dark. Fire and Arcane is what I had last time. I'm going to go with Holy and Dark this time with Judgment Bolt. Chain Lightning. Let's increase its damage. And that's all my skill points. Uh, where are we headed? Ruby Heart and a Portal Key. Healing Potion and an Icicle. Or an Ice Circle, rather. Really not a fan of those uh, mantis. What do they resist? It's it. This is a weird bug. Like you, you can't auto walk past shrines, which is weird. Well, actually, what do you guys resist? Resist lightning. Resist everything. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Not going there. I just don't want to deal with you. I really wish I had a uh, portal disruptor. These guys resist dark. They're susceptible to holy and fire damage, which is much easier to deal with. Holy butts. Okay. I'm glad I just upgraded Chain Lightning. That's 
a lot of fucking ghosts. Jesus. There's so much random shit. Well, you resist your lightning. It re regenerates five per... Regenerates five um, HP per turn, di disabled on taking fire damage. So I need to hit you with the fireball. Also, you have 10,000 health that I mentioned, by the way. Fucking hell. Um. I realize I'm hitting myself, by the way. Just trying to deal with this. It's just not ideal. I really should just teleport. I really, really hate this shit. No fun. Cleared that though. I think it's just the ghost. Yep. Gross. Darker lightning. Well, we're going there. Cannot be applied to conjuration spells. Should go buy an icicle. Your living minions. Learn a new spell. Ice ball. What's that do? Deals 14 ice damage in a two tile burst. Damaged units are frozen for three turns. Seems useful. Let's do that. All right, so you resist everything. You'd think that metallic things would be easily damaged by lightning. Not the opposite. <laughs> like, chat, like, wouldn't you think something that conducts electricity would be easily damaged? by lightning. Like, isn't that just, like, the logical statement there? Fortunately for me, these also do other damage types, so... Like, generally, I would assume that it's like, well, something is metallic. Like, maybe they're powered by electricity, so it's like it powers them up. There's a legitimate excuse, but it's like if they're a magical creature that's just powered by ancient magics or something like you'd, you'd think that I don't know I, I don't know to me that that just doesn't make much sense hmm That's no good. That's no good. Um. Hmm. Well, fortunately for me. Ow. Each enemy has a 50% chance to go berserk. Let's just do that. Help myself out a little bit here. And heal myself. Back into this corner. Let's see if I can... Maybe? At least I can hit both of you. Alright, 
looks like it's just the one baddie spawner left, so I'll just pick him off as I get close. Hmm. Just trying to hit both of these dudes in one shot, but looks like I wasted a turn. But it says that they're metallic. Like, it's describing them as Iron Golem. Metallic. Um. Whenever this spell kills a unit, all your temporary allies gain plus one extra turn of duration. I mean, that's really useful, but I got no summons right now, so. Sorcery Circle. I need health potions. And mana. So that could work. That one doesn't. We could go this route. These guys resist fire, arcane, and poison. You don't resist anything. You also don't resist anything? Okay, so we could do this route. Problem is, I'm going to need to use mana really soon. So I'll just pick it up right away. Might just use the mana potion. Stop more shit from spawning, probably ideal. I think I'm heading left now to try and just hit those monster spawners. combo. Um, I hate you. Please die. Thank you. You too. Ow. Not in Entirely positive as to where those attacks are coming from. I kind of wish this game had a combat log. I feel like it would make my life a lot easier if I knew exactly what was doing what. It's just the one thing left then. And you're in a spot where I actually just cannot hit you. <laughs> it's okay. You can't hit me, but like... All right. Um, Floating eyes, werewolf, giant worm balls, demon sorcerer, gray mushrooms. It's just a... Uh, yes, that's where I'm going to go. I might just drag in this spot. Eh, probably not, actually. I don't think we'll need to drag in this. I don't think I'll need to. Yeah, I'm going to drag him. So note to self, be in an open space when you uh, summon dragons. Because dragons are not a huge fan of spawning in walls. So if you want maximum dragdom, let them spawn. You thought golems were made of clay? That Well, there's rock golems, stone golems, metal golems, 
I feel like golems come in many varieties of different shapes and sizes. They're not necessarily made of clay, stone, or anything. All right. Um, let's get down to this. Um, can I level up my lightning bolt anymore? Channeling. Uh, let's level up chain lightning. Friendly units hit by chain lightning gain one shield. Ooh. So I guess it'll bounce off me, I hope. Uh, fireball can have a range upgrade, sure. Nature circle, bunch of mana, and healing potions. I feel like that's probably where we need to go. Yeah, definitely. Diablo 2 had blood golems. I feel like I've seen blood golems in other things too. Blood golems, now that you state that, sounds familiar. So these guys are resistant to fire damage. Chaos Chimera. And you do not like getting hit by ice. Meaning, I should be hitting you with my ice, not my fire. Owie. Can you stop doing damage to me? That would be cool if you could just stop. <laughs> you too! Jesus! <laughs> I like it when they kill each other. That's funny. Any video game that'll let enemies friendly fire each other gets a automatic thumbs up from me. I don't even know what these things are, but they're just like turning into different things every time I hit them and I don't like it. Let's just shoot through all of you and just snipe that. Two down. Take you two down. Hmm. Bye. So. Scary space to be. Um, Should have used the fire shield. Oh well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the mana potion. And I'm going to chain lightning this shit. I really wish that this had more range. Like, I really, really, really do. Should've just done this sooner. It's a waste. Should've teleported sooner. Oh well. Also, the fact that these guys get to just hit me through walls. <laughs> Fuck off. Wasted floor. Wasted floor! Ship floor! Oh, well. Can I get something out of the nature circle, maybe? Each turn, heal each of your minions for 2 HP. Uh, your summoned units, so that's all like summon stuff. 
Whenever you enter a new level, summon a Phase Stone nearby. The Phase Stone has 120 HP and is stationary. Whenever you cast a Nature Spell, the Phase Stone heals for 10 HP. Whenever you cast an Arcane Spell, the Phase Stone teleports near the target and gains one shield. So it's just like a giant decoy. I don't have any Arcane. <laughs> Man. Kind of wish I could use that. It's kind of neat. Venom Spit. For some in nature units, gain Venom Spit. Yeah, let's just let's see if I can do a skill. Uh, invoke Savagery. Each living ally gains Savagery. Toxic Spores. Spawns Toxic Mushrooms. Let's do that. And then I'll level it up a bit. Let's just level up your damage. All right, I really don't want to go there. I don't like those glass golems at all. Mind Maggot Queen? We've got a Mana Potion. I think we'll go this route. <laughs> what the fuck is this map? Warm fire egg. On reaching zero HP, transforms into a red worm. Well, that's fun. Although this is like um, chain lightning heaven, isn't it? Although these guys have 100% resist to lightning, which is fun. All right, chat, place your bets. Do I die on this floor? It's funny because these things have 100% resist to lightning, yet I can still use lightning spells on them effectively. This is not good. Pretty sure I'm dead. Pretty fucking sure I'm dead. It's these bloody thunder drakes. Yeah, I still have one HP left. I don't think I would have survived that even if I had healed. Yeah, I think that's like the one thing I would change about this game if I had the option. Is I would give it a uh, an events list. I want to know exactly what's doing what to me, damage-wise. And I feel like there's a lot of times where I, I don't know what's doing what to me, damage-wise. But this is one of the coolest fucking features ever. Just being able to see the beginning and the end of every floor, it's like... I think uh, Brogue has a better one of these where it's like a full replay, but this is like a great feature. I love being able to just run through all the floors afterwards. I'm trying to think what I could have done differently here. I think if I spawned up top here, I could have cleared this zone. But it was those fucking dragon eggs. Man, if, if only I had like a dragon tooth in this area. This is a hellish spawn. Absolutely hellish. All right, chat. Um, looking at the time. I've been streaming for five hours. 
Uh, this is getting close to when I would normally end. So I think I'm going to call it. Um, there might be a night stream tonight because my sleep is totally screwed up. But then again, I've, I've suggested that there might be night streams for a little bit now and I haven't actually done it yet. Um, so we'll see. Turn the stream on or stream camera on. This is the first time I've been on camera in five hours. This is weird. Um, <laughs> if you want to support the stream directly, I, I have a Patreon like literally every other person on earth. Um, but uh, over there, you can get access to those sound commands that you hear people using sometimes. 